good morning, it's day two and um, I'm filling the mat up, I'll show you in a second but it's the most horrific thing ever, I found a dead hornet yesterday on this pallet here and it's gone, panic sets in, I've just turned around and I found it, okay here we go, oh my good god, right, I have a phobia of wasps and that just fills me with goosebumps. Oh, I wonder who touched it. Anyway, every morning we fill up the sanitising mats. Big up Royal Brinkman, our representative. Jim hooked us up with this lovely number. And uh, this is a uh, called Meno Florades in that we put in the mat and it stops contamination of brown rugo's fruit virus, which is the enemy. So here we go, nice and simple. Just spotted the first break of the day. <laughs> There's a ghost. <laughs> I wonder how she got down. That's pretty high up. Flew. <laughs> Wonderful start to the day. <laughs> He's my hero. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Ready? You're not prepared for the strength I behold. Unreal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How are you looking on the nozzle side? What do you mean? Really, I can twist it. Uh, I'm good. Keep it down. There you go. Moment of truth. Beautiful. Old trustworthy. Yeah. We're going to take our first load over because we've got nine, so we might as well just take them over because it's going to be two loads anyway. And I'll do a little time lapse of us running in and out. Okay, we're all loaded. Oh. Okay, so Tony's pulled the trailer over. I refuse to drive the tractor because the brakes only in fact work when you pump them. So that's a no from me. <laughs> uh, we're gonna unload them and uh, I'll show you and how we organize the brakes. So we're pulling out on the old site. These two are the most difficult greenhouses to get out of. So this is number six, which is fine. But then we've got a hill and a corner and also three and five. You've got to negotiate a very low door, uh, some bumpy grids and then uh, a corner and a hill. So we only use this one because it's got side shift and you know whatnot, makes it a bit easier. We don't use the Fiat for this. Hey up, mate. Hey up. 
What are you doing? Shifting to Martin. How many have we got? the heating what we normally do is we use this truck to put them in the vestibule and then i can carry them down on the fiat but this corner is just a bit tricky i think in the history of roads touch wood only one accident so we just go as slow as possible and make sure that the wrap is very tight Very well executed. It's like he's done it before. <laughs> so, done some pulling out, both sides, some weighing off, uh, pulled for it over. I'm gonna weigh off some more and then I'm gonna go picking because there's quite a bit on. And with new staff, the first time they ever lay eyes on a tomato plant, you're not quite up to, ste up to speed. So. That's totally fair enough. So I'm just gonna go give a lift with that and then everyone can start leafing because leafing's gonna be mean this week. They are dropping them. So uh, we'll keep you posted. Quite a bit on, to be honest. Looking nice and red. Here's my trolley. Cool, let's get picking. How beautiful is this one? We've just done 13 baskets. Wow, we. Can tell people's job roles by the type of suntan they have. Guess this one. Okay. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> You've got gloves on, Jack! <laughs> yeah, and also very pale legs. He's a twister, yay! <laughs> okay, it's half past five. We've just finished picking. And I've probably got mascara everywhere. And it's so many tomatoes! Oh my god, they're just coming from everywhere. I've already taken ten over. And we've got like another... I don't know. Looks like another about 16, 17 here. Can you believe it? Amazing. <laughs> so now that we have wrapped and weighed. We're going to fill up the truck with some more. So I'll show you. Second load of 10, did a load this morning, just done that load now, and there is one, two, three, four, five, and a bit and a bit, so six, so that's 26 pallets in two days, which is uh, half a ton each, so 13-ish ton. Hi! <laughs> Whoa, two boss men. <laughs> Chicken. A few more there. One more there. Labels facing that way. Yeah. Come out a bit further. Yep. Here. Which way do you want labels facing? That way. Yeah, it'll have to be. 
Because it's that lame. Well, right, okay. And don't, um, and don't push the pallet of crates into the fans like Jack did. Uh oh. Is it broken? No. Did you do it? I haven't done it, no. Oh, tell him. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, <laughs> All right. I've unloaded in the fridge in a very particular order. Christopher is now Mr. Organised. Uh, okay, he's coming. Tony! I can't see him because of the reflection! <laughs> Brilliant. He's uh, demonstrating one of our um, prized possessions, the Leyland. <laughs> yeah, this is the one that the brakes don't work. You have to pump them a few times just to, you know, so they can remember what their job is. <laughs> Everything around here has a knack to it, I was told, upon getting a job. Um, like, every single door on site has a knack to it. Thank you. I might show you some of them. We keep this tractor on at all times, so we, we have got a nice little John Deere here, but it's easy if we keep this on. You can just drive it anywhere, anytime. Don't need to hook it up. <gasps> oh my god! Two other buggers. Today? Last night. Oh, <gasps> that's huge. You're infected, man. Oh my god. I mean, you need an antihistamine. Beer. But, um, one of the staff got stung on the bum today. Beer. <laughs> it's all happening. <laughs> And they've not finished picking in two yet. Apparently, when they finish picking in two, we've got two Arctic loads full. So uh, that means, I think tomorrow, these six and this stack over here, 20. Oh, there he is, Tony! Tony, mate? No. I've got a surprise for you. What's that? Matthias has just told me I think the drains are blocked on the caravans. Which ones? Uh, he says his, <clears throat> Carlos, and probably the next one. He says you can't open the manhole Why cover. Not? Um, I, he was just struggling to get it open. But he says it's going. <laughs> <laughs> Do need to move a job. And with that concludes day two of Tomato Fortnight. And in usual rud fashion, uh, half six, and Tony's got to rub the drains. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs>